I am Parag. I am a final year student of Electronics and Communication. I would like to thank Placement Board for giving me this opportunity to share my interview experience with you all. I am placed in Fractal Dynamics. <laughs> Uh, I'm placed in Fractal Analytics as a data analyst. Uh, it's a global analytics firm with multiple offices in Asia, Europe and America. It's a company of Indian origin started by an IM Ahmedabad alumni. It's the second and uh, largest analytics firm in India. In simple terms, it's a company that performs extensive data crunching and has some most renowned data scientists as their employees at present across the world. As far as the recruitment procedure of Fractal Analytics is concerned, my uh, first step was resume shortlisting. It uh, basically it was open for uh, PSCT production, civil and electronics and communication and related branches. 65% was the cutoff, and uh, basically uh, uh, I what I feel is that there was no uh, some there was no some specific criteria for uh, on what basis they were shortlisting the resume. But what I feel is that they were mainly mainly looking for how well you have condensed your three years of in graduation, uh, and uh, you are able to condense this very perfectly in your resume. So basically, they were tr trying to see how hard you have worked for the entire three years and not just wasted around mm, those years. And uh, then after the resume shortlisting, I don't remember how many people uh, were there in the written test, but yes, it was in 90 minute, minutes online test and it had aptitude and English and comprehension as well. So in aptitude, um, the topics, uh, if I recall, is PNC, probability, data interpretation, mainly based on the pie charts. The level of difficulty, I would say, was medium, and but the speed mat mattered a lot and there was no GD round. Uh, fortunately for me but there were three um, interview rounds and most of them mainly they were non-technical and HR so after the resume shortlisting and the written rounds uh, there was uh, the, around 45 people were shortlisted if I remember out of uh, 40 students so uh, basically the first round of interview was a uh, resume based interview in which they drilled you a lot of a lot like a lot on your interns and your projects uh, and everything you have you had mentioned in your resume so you cannot bluff around with what you have written in your resume you need to be very honest and truthful and you need to justify each and every point that you have written in your resume and they will not refrain, refrain themselves from asking you technical questions as well because uh, because the guy who was interviewing me he was from IIT Roorkee and he himself had an experience of what engineering is and what technical que questions can be so he was asking me the technical aspects of the projects as well so yes he was trying to test the authentic authenticity of my work that I mentioned in the resume and yes my inter interview started with the usual question tell me about yourself and in that towards the end they asked me what do you want to what why do you want to join a firm a non-technical firm an analytics firm when you have done so well in electronics so what I would suggest is if you are an engineer and if you are sitting for companies like these you should prepare your answer for these questions beforehand you should frame your answer beforehand and practice that answer beforehand before coming for the interview so that you are uh, you are you know prepared for the uh, for the um, answering this question because they will definitely ask you that if you're an engineer why do you want to come to a firm which is not at all related to your field of study so the second round of interview was around uh, 40 to 45 to 50 minutes it was quite hectic for me because when i moved out i was very tired it was around 50 minutes my previous interview was uh, approximately 20 to 25 minutes so in this round the second round of interview around 14 people were shortlisted 14 one four people were shortlisted from the previous round this was a two on one interview two people were interviewing and both of them were not very friendly looking they asked me a lot of case studies not a lot of two three case studies uh, guess estimates questions and situation based questions he gave me situation based question of some problematic situation in company so how would I deal with that 
and um, yes he was testing my thought procedure he was not both of them were not concerned with my answer as to what i'm giving an answer to a case study they were concerned more about how i think so they gave me the a pen and paper and they were and they were asking me questions in between from time to time and they were checking my thought procedure so basically in case studies and guess estimates interview round you should never bother about the what your answer is if the figure is real, realistic uh, answer does not matter your thought process matters so in case studies mainly you should you should learn how to think in a channelized way so this is what they were checking and i was very uh, i came very well through that and then they were the in towards the end it was very odd but they asked me tech questions as well like implement uh, an elevator system using zor gate and what is thyristor what is silicon controlled rectifier so uh, i mean even i don't know why they asked not technical questions being a non technical firm but base i what i feel is uh maybe they were trying to test you how much could you are in technical field as well so it can have two aspects maybe they were trying my authenticity towards my subject if if i'm interested in it uh, at all so and maybe they were trying to reject me because they wanted to test maybe that if i answer those tech questions maybe they will not hire me because of the fear that i may join some other tech firm as well off campus so yes there were both positive and negative sides of it but yes i was not able to solve those technical questions as good as i was able to solve those case interview So the third round of interview was mainly HR interview. Out of the fourteen people which were there in the second round of interview, there were eight people in this round, and from out of those eight people, finally uh, six were recruited. So in this HR interview, the guy mainly asked me about my family and general usual HR questions, and also he was discussing about job location with me. And yes, the interview lasted for hardly five to ten minutes. So as far as the preparation for this uh, whole uh, recruitment procedure is concerned I would say be authentic with your resume even if you have not done a lot of things just be concise with your resume and be honest with your resume and you should know how to justify your resume prepare for some HR questions beforehand so that you are comfortable answering them uh, in the interview uh, for the uh, written test I think uh, level 2 of Arun Sharma would do the questions were not that hard so any um, good engineering student can uh, go up with those uh, medium level questions and uh, for uh, um, for the hr interview and the case interview you should mainly focus on the thought process rather than questions you can practice world guide for the case interview and uh, and and even if you are not going through the world guide mainly you should uh, think about the thought process how you are going to solve the question even if the question is new for you for the first time you are looking at the question for any queries regarding the recruitment procedure of the company and uh, for any query at all you can comment below and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel below